today we're covering Syria and Ligue 1 in season undervalued players on so rare. And guys, I just want to say already, within the Syria and Ligue 1, it's pretty difficult to find these cards because just in general, I was having a lot of trouble. In general, there's a lot of clubs that aren't fully covered, which means they don't have the newer in season cards. And I wanted to focus on them the most. So that's already point one. Point two is within these leagues, somehow there's it's very difficult to find peak potential cards. I was having a lot of trouble with this. Nonetheless, we still tried to deliver you guys a lot of players that will help you guys uh, find the right direction within this competition. And of course, you have to realize people with Bundesliga, Premier League or La Liga players will mostly compete in the specific competitions, which creates that room for Serie A and Ligue 1 players within the champion competitions where you can comp compete for rewards. Anyway, guys, we're going to get right into it. Make sure to like this video, subscribe on the channel because we put a lot of time into doing this research. But in the end, you have to do your own research as well because we just try to push you a little bit in the right direction. Anyway, you can see a lot of tabs open. That's because there's a lot of players. So this might be a longer video than normal. But I just want to give you some options for League uh, and Serie A. And that's just too much, you know. So goalkeeper wise guys we're gonna start with Milinkovic Savic and it says here knee problems but it says 100% starting against Cagliari I mean check it out guys do your research okay do your research before you buy any players because this guy I was looking at him honestly he's pretty pretty great and I'm wearing the rival team Juventus but Torino is a pretty decent club um one note as well I don't fully fo follow the Serie A and Ligue 1 at the moment, so honestly, if you have any notes, if I'm saying something wrong, just let me know in the comments, help each other out, yeah? So, I was looking at Milinkovic-Savic, I think he's pretty decent, and just in general, for 35 euros limited in season, I think it could be a very, very decent player. Of course, he has to start, but I don't know, man, I'm seeing a lot of AA, I'm seeing a lot of clean sheets last season as well, I just think there's a lot of potential on he honestly started this season great as well uh, just watch out with the injury then next up i thought if you don't want milinkovic Savic and uh, sort of the same price range davis vasquez and he just started playing for um empoli and honestly they're not doing that bad in the Serie A, surprisingly and that's what i like about Serie A as well it can go any way and so far he has done pretty well a lot of clean sheets to be honest um but hey maybe that's a good sign and it could be a very, very decent option in the Syria. Then a different option in the Syria is David De Gea. And De Gea has honestly always been a decent keeper, I would say. Um, around 45 euros limited in season. I was just thinking like, if you want a goalkeeper from a little bit of the better team, then I would start looking at a player like De Gea because he, his price range is still not crazy. I was also looking at Sommer, which is not bad. Uh, but then you got Menya, who's pretty much the best goalkeeper in the Serie A, you could say. Um, and he is just crazy expensive. So I thought this is a maybe a decent undervalued option if you're looking for a little bit of the better teams like Fiorentina. I think Fiorentina is very good. Uh, but again, I'm not watching too much Serie A. Then, Bizo from Ligue 1, from Brest. And I honestly was quite surprised about this option because around 25 euros limited in season. And I mean, look at those scores. Sure, he's going to hit some miss, some big misses, you know, in some game weeks. But besides that, AA-wise, possible. Clean sheet-wise, possible. That just gives that notch of, you know, making a, a decent lineup which is very interesting for the price. Another option as well for this price point was Philip Kuhn, um, who I honestly, I don't know, man. I don't really like it. I was looking at the Monaco and I thought they also had um, my, my Jackie um, playing, I think it, apparently in this period. Um, but now this guy is playing for Monaco as well. I don't know what the case is with that rotation. So please do your research, but I thought his scores were all right and it could be a decent option because Monaco is also a decent club in my opinion. Then we got Samba from Lens and this price range is around 35 euros. Um, and he's actually benching on the France team, which quite surprises me. But 
we got some decent scores and i see a lot of aa as you can see when he does hit a clean sheet he's gonna hit you an 80 which is honestly very useful i mean if you get a 97 you're pretty much guaranteed it awards right if your goalkeeper scores a 97 surely you get it awards <laughs> but just in general you can see that he scores a lot of all around which it's just very good because even if he doesn't get a clean sheet he doesn't kill your lineup which we love to see another option as well around this price point of 35 euros limited in season is bulka from nice um also decent option nice not the worst club you know and just in general i see some aa possibilities which creates a peak potential which is quite rare uh with goalkeepers of course then we got Mr. Di Lorenzo from the Serie A and maybe I'm a little biased because I just love this guy. I don't know. I, I just think he's such a cool right back and the peak potential is there, guys. The peak potential is there, but he's a little bit expensive. I would say if you can get him under 20 euros, it would be an undervalued uh, purchase in my opinion. Uh, just in general, he's very good. I mean, peak potentials there also for Italy. Center back is crazy, by the way. I think it's right center back though. Um, but still, I mean, so many decisives, man. It's sure he's gonna have some bad periods, but I think he's a very good uh, defender. Um, still needs to find a little bit more consistency. Let's just say that, but very important player. Was captain at Napoli for a long time as well. I think he wants to leave now though but not too sure um, but i think it's a decent option another napoli option for a <laughs> cheaper price point honestly for around what was it 13 euros limited in season i mean guys this guy is good man this has been already like this for two years and i think he's really good for his price aa wise he's pretty much i mean four of the five games he's gonna score like 55 plus when he gets a decisive even better even without a decisive he can score a lot of aa as well which just makes it very interesting then one of the most undervalued players in the syria ever guys ever biragi and it, this has also been like this for two years already i've had him in several videos i'm sure and again it's the case it's again the case if this guy starts yeah for under i mean for around three euros limited in season three this guy's insane i think this guy is the the definition of peak potential in this area people are not seeing it but we are we are guys decisives aa i see so much potential with him man every time if i look at like really really cheap players this guy comes up in my mind it, it's honestly one of the best options if he plays generally very good i see he's predicted as benched which i don't like to see because i think he's so rare wise he does really really well in my opinion so honestly take a look at him then one of the more expensive players in the league arm um, but guys i'm telling you this is insane <laughs> I, I do i even have to say anything i think it's if you can get this guy under 25 euros you have one of the best players in the league arm. Um. So that wise, I guess. But honestly, guys, that's why I, the reason I put him in here as well is just because, man, for that price, you're going to have one of the best defenders, best scorers in the league. Huh? I think this is insane. So, yeah, I put it in the undervalued list. Yeah, I did. Then we got Klaus. And I have two options, actually. Klaus or Agbadu for around 16 euros limited in season again not the cheapest but these guys are just very important if you want to compete within these competitions you need one of the best cards and for around these scores i think it's undervalued so peak potentials there i mean 16 euros could be very well and agbadu as well is doing honestly very very good aa wise um peak potentials there when he gets a decisive it's pretty much a peak already uh, just in general very very good and quite consistent as well then we got two other options that are very cheap with Henrik at around six euros and uh, Talia Fico around three euros not the greatest players but there's definitely potential AA wise I mean also for Argentina which I like to see um, the size of wise as well of course as a fullback I love fullbacks guys I do love fullbacks and um, we got Henrik who's honestly very good this season hasn't started off great but as you can see aay is still doing great 
when he gets to the size of he's going to be in that peak range which just makes it very interesting if we look at the past for um for him as well guys he he can do it okay six euros believe me maybe he's not going to turn out on the, at the start but surely on the longer term this guy's going to do bits for you okay uh then we got midfielders with reinders from the syria and honestly was having a lot of trouble with the trouble with the syria midfielders it's not great it's, it's just not great you got reinders for around um 13 euros limited in season Sakanya is well around that price, which the good thing with him is that he can get way more decisive because he's more attacking. But honestly, still not great. Then we got Froiler for around uh, 6 euros, which was, it might be in one of the best options because he's quite consistent. Can get a peek in there with a decisive. Um, and for 6 euros, is just honestly one of the better options in the Serie A, in season wise, if you ask me. Um, then we got Sambo Agisa for around 10 euros limited in season, which is not bad. But again, I'm I wouldn't be too satisfied with these scores, to be totally honest. So I don't know if I would too, totally recommend it, but it's one of the undervalued options with that big potential. He can score AA, you know. So he, he's just not always gonna do great for you, which I don't like personally. Then we got one that I do like from the league. Ah. Um, Maitland, no, no, I don't. Oh, it's England. It's England. Maitland Niles. I have no clue. I'm not English. Okay, leave me alone. Um, he plays fullback, right mid here and there. Honestly, a very good option if you ask me. Peak potentials there. AA wise, he can do very, very good. For around ten euros, totally, totally would recommend it. Uh, Camara from Brest, who I honestly think is very good as well for around ten euros. AA capabilities are there again. The size of capabilities are there. He gets a lot of the sides, to be honest. So makes it very, very interesting. Last season did great. Uh, started off this season pretty decent as well. Decent option for 10 euros. Then we got Savanier, who I personally really like as well for around 8 euros limited in season. Um, so midfielders wise, League A is definitely winning, if you ask me. Um, AA wise, I mean, he's going to score pretty much 50 every single game. When he gets a decisive, you are pretty much in. That, that's just all I'm saying. I think there's a lot of potential. I mean, last season was great. This season started off decent, I would say. Uh, Montpellier apparently not winning too many games, but this guy still being involved um, just shows um, the quality of the player. Then attacking wise, we got Lukman. And guys, Lukman is crazy expensive. And why is he in here? One important reason, and that's just because, again, in the Serie I was having trouble finding the good attackers. And this guy, if you really want to compete for rewards, this guy is probably the best option for you besides the Quaratsquelias and everything, because those are even more expensive. And he's pretty much the best defender at the moment in the Serie A. Like, in general. He was, uh, when I was looking at the Serie A rankings on Soria Data, this guy was up there. All right. He was number one. As you can see, peak potentials there, the size of potentials there, a lot of potential there, but he's very expensive. I would say if you can get this guy under 40 euros, it's a steal. Honestly, if I look at these scores, it's a, it's a steal. I, I'm just surprised that he's doing so well in the Serie A. I, I don't know, man. I was never expecting that from Luke, man, but he's doing great. Then Castellanos from Lazio is another option that is not the cheapest. Um, if we look real quick, I honestly don't even know his price in season. So around 15 euros, you could get him. And he's not the greatest player, honestly. But I was looking at some options in Syria. This is one of the better ones because he gets... He's a goal scorer, you know. He's going to get some decisive here and there, which just helps. Then we got Tao Fe, who's apparently having some injury option, uh, injuries. Yeah, injuries. Uh, anyway, 7 euros limited in season. And... Just in general, can score some AA, can score some goals here and there. Udinese and not the greatest team, I think, but a decent option for seven euros, maybe. Then Politano for under 10 euros, I would say this would be worth it because he is not the greatest player. He's going to score 50 in most of the games. And when he does get a decisive, he's going to score you, give you like an 80 or 70, which is decent. It's just nothing outstanding. Uh, but again, a decent option for under 10 euros i guess then in the league uh, again we have some 
decent options, but also in the league uh, attacking wise, I was having some trouble. But this guy for three euros limited in season, I thought was really good. From Montpellier, gets AA, gets decisives. I mean, even without a decisive, can hit a 60, which just creates that peak potential, which we see in the past as well. He, it looks like he's playing way more games this season, uh, longer playing time as well. I think it looks like a great option. Maybe pair him with a Savanye. Hope Montpellier do a little bit better. Hey, man, I'm just saying. Just saying, it looks like those two players are important at Montpellier. Then we got an expensive option a little bit again, but around 20 euros limited in season. I think it's a decent option because you're going to have a player that just, that's just very good. I mean, he can get a lot of assists in, uh, a lot of AA in, creating a lot of chances, chances and just in general, looks like a decent option to me. Um, I think one of the better options in the league, uh, again, 20 euros is not the cheapest, but maybe undervalued if you look at the quality that he's delivering. Then last but not least, Jeremy Boga. 8 euros limited in season from Nice and just in general, nothing great, nothing insane, but decent enough for that price um i i was again i was having a lot of trouble with these options but i think this guy can do pretty well as well for you again this is just the direction i'm trying to point you guys into i gave you a lot of options please do your own research okay i'm just here to help um same with salas his videos as well we're just to help you guys and hopefully we did that. Make sure to keep an eye out on tomorrow's video if you are interested in League A and Serie A classic cards which have the quality players in there which you should be looking at as well to maybe mix with your in-season players.